that foul early a couple of games ago. She got into foul trouble against Michigan, fouled out. Clark, oh yeah! Off to a both, both teams have it. Caitlin Clark! I know, you said it. Well, Shelly almost got the steal. How about Clark? Oh, she is so smooth. Follow through, but it won't drop in. Clark! done enough on the offensive end to not let Iowa run away as they've been efficient. Clark panics! Plus the foul! She's open now! Caitlin Clark puts her over the 20 mark! She's Clark will fire! You bet! From O'Hare! Caitlin Clark, the player everyone is buzzing about. She's the player who has excited the WNBA since the season began. Thanks to her breathtaking highlight performances, exciting games, and record-setting success that have helped her gain a fan base not seen in a long while. However, amid all the praise and excitement, the WNBA faced an unexpected twist. The Indiana Fever, a team often hidden in the shadows of the league's star players, dropped a surprising announcement that caught everyone off guard, especially aimed at the player who is changing the game. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you never want to lose, um, and especially losing right now with the chance to go home and get one more game, um, it truly sucks. But I think just being able to get a taste of this playoff feeling, um, I mean, they're a veteran squad, they make the right reads, they hit some tough shots. Uh, and so, I mean, that's hard, but I think just looking at this, looking at how far we've come from the start of the season to now, I mean, I'm just super proud of our group because I think we had such a special 12 and I just can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah, obviously a tough one, especially because we climbed all the way back in and definitely had our opportunities late. Um, and then a few, few different miscues and it's back to a two possession game and we couldn't quite get over the hump there. So um, like AB said, like it's a good, good little taste of, you know, what's possible for this organization and for this franchise. And there's a lot for us to, you know, hold our heads high about, um, you know, this team won five games two years ago so uh, we're a young group a pretty inexperienced group in a league where every play from dribbles to three-point shots and defensive efforts is scrutinized this news sent ripples throughout the entire basketball community but what exactly happened and why did it leave the WNBA in such turmoil prepare yourself as this is the story of Caitlin Clark and how she became involved in an unexpected controversy that shook the very core of the sport she loves before we move on I'd like to ask you a small favor if you appreciate this content, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Over 98% of you watch the videos without subscribing. It costs you nothing but it makes a huge difference to us. So did you click the subscribe button? Great, thank you so much. Now back to the video. Before we discuss the shocking event that left everyone stunned, let's understand what makes Caitlin Clark so fascinating. Her arrival in the WNBA was more than just adding a player, it transformed the landscape of women's basketball. Her time at Iowa was something special, she showcased talent that that caught the eyes of even those who only casually off follow basketball. Clark wasn't just a rising star, she was the star, the one with the potential to transform the game. <laughs> In her first season, Clark didn't hold back in making a splash. From sinking long-range shots with impressive ease to delivering pinpoint passes right through defenders, she quickly became a crowd favorite. Fans rushed to arenas eager to witness her talent firsthand. She wasn't simply playing basketball, she was bringing it to life, making every game a remarkable experience. It didn't take long for her jersey to become one of the league's top sellers, and the media loved her for it. With Caitlin Clark all night tonight. Are you talking about my high school experience? <laughs> Clark, cut it! One here, Caitlin Clark just dancing with the basketball, going to her left, stepping into it. Back Bentley. Here's Clark, a good look from three. She got it! The first. Three. Caitlin Clark does not need much space here. Is this shooting? That was a wild sequence there. Clark the switch on to Dolson, steps back and buries a triple. Turns, ducks in. Back Bentley stays with her, blocked from behind. That was Clark. 
Clark looking to push, cross-court pass. Pull back to Clark, she will launch and bury it for the second quarter and Clark doing it with some defense. With each remarkable game, the expectations began to rise. Whispers circulated, was Caitlin Clark on track to be one of the all-time greats? Comparisons to WNBA legends flooded in, placing her not just beside her contemporaries, but alongside the giants of the sport. Yet, as with any emerging star, there comes a moment when the spotlight shines the brightest, and it was the Indiana Fever who decided to make their move when least expected. Indiana Fever's game-changing history with Krauskopf before the Indiana Fever made their surprise announcement, there were already some talks going around. The franchise, which used to be a big deal in the WNBA, was trying hard to get back on top. But nobody expected what came next. Despite the team's efforts to remain in the playoffs, Caitlin's impressive solo performance couldn't carry them through. They were eliminated in their first playoff experience. The next development was shocking. The Indiana Fever's management decided to bring back Kelly Kroskop as the president of basketball and business operations. They ain't wait until the offseason to make changes because because they have announced they have a new president. And I'm telling you right now, this is a very serious story because normally when news come out like this, they wait till about the end of the season. They don't announce new presidents in the middle of a playoff series. This is letting me know that the owner of the Fever is not happy with the way things is being ran. And we've been talking about this all season long, bro. Christy Size and Lynn Dunn, dog. I believe this is the start of the end for Christy Size and Lynn Dunn. We know that fans has not been rocking our Christy Size. This wasn't just a story. Crosscuff's return showed everyone that the Fever were finished with playing it safe. They were ready to take big risks and chase success wholeheartedly. To really get how important this announcement is, you need to know who Kelly Crosscuff is in WNBA history. If you don't know her story, here it is. Kelly Crosscuff isn't just another person in charge. She played a major role in establishing the Indiana Fever from the very start. Her first important move was to draft Tamika Catchings. Because of her leadership, the Fever made it to the playoffs 13 times and achieved a WNBA championship in 2012. The team excelled during her era, and with her return, it looks like they have a chance to revive that winning spirit. When you get one of those top three to four players, certainly you, it, you know, it can change your franchise, and it's somebody that you want to continue to build around. It's exciting. It's exciting for our fans and our team. On September 30th, the Indiana Fever made a major announcement that Caitlin Clark was hoping for. This wasn't just any news. It was about Kelly Koff returning to a prominent role. If you're familiar with the Fever's past, you'll know that Koff has been a vital part of the team since 2012, playing a crucial role in its success. I saw the news yesterday about Kelly Kraskoff. Um, she's gonna be you know, leaving us to go run the Fever again. Super happy for her. She was a huge part of our front office and. Um, helping us build our team and you know run our team from day to day and uh, definitely then without any warning big news was released while the Indiana Fever were pushing hard for a chance in the playoffs they announced that Kelly Kroskoff was returning to the team where she played a key and had helped make him competitive fans were incredibly happy and everyone else in the WNA was shocked the Fever were serious about making some changes and they were bringing back the person who had guided them through their best years but this wasn't just a sentimental move to bring back a familiar face with her smart approach to the game, Kroskoff has a history of achieving great results, having succeeded with both the Fever and the Indiana Passers. She made headlines as the first female assistant general manager in the NBA. Now that she's returned, the WNBA is poised for what comes next. People were buzzing all over social media. Fever fans felt a rush of hope, thinking this could be the start of something new for their team. Other teams and their fans also saw how big this was not just for one team, but for the entire league. Kroskoff's return could totally change the game for everyone. As Crosscup steps back in, there are a few important areas where she can make a real difference right away. The Fever have had a tough time being consistent and developing their players lately, even though they have some great talent like rising star Caitlin Clark. Crosscup's return shows that the team is getting ready to change how they do things. You know, background in terms of growing up in the organization and understanding everything, you know, the nuances around it and certainly gives us great perspective. You know, such great insight as a player, first of all, and, and I think that's so valuable to an organization like ours because for sure you know to be around some of these vets and just to hear their experiences and and give them some advice on like what it took and you know to be on these teams that are last time we practiced was several weeks ago so it just felt good to be able to work on some things with this. we talked to them earlier about the things that we were able to improve on throughout 
from the first five games to six to 11. I feel like we were back in training camp a little bit. That's the last time we practiced was several weeks ago. So it just felt good to be able to work on some things with this guy. Kelly Krauskopf is back with the fever. With her experience in building up the Indiana passers around star players like Tyrese High Tyler Burton, Krauskopf knows how to create a team centered around a key player. Clark, who plays in a super exciting and fast way, is just the kind of player Krauskopf needs to try out her new ideas. The Fevers front office will probably want to make sure their recruitment and player development really focuses on getting the best out of Clark, similar to what the Pacers did with Halliburton. This might lead to some big changes in the Fevers roster because Krauskopf is really good at spotting talent, whether it means bringing in fresh talent from college, finding players overseas, or uncovering hidden gems, she has always been ahead when it comes to scouting for new players. Krauskopf coming back is making people think about who's in charge at the Fever. General Manager Lynn Dunn and Head Coach Christy Sides have been getting a lot of heat for not keeping the team consistent. With Krauskopf back, it might mean some big changes are coming up at the top, affecting how the team runs both on and off the court. And fans are pretty upset with the way things are going, and many think that Krauskopf's return means the team is ready for a fresh start. With her leading things, it seems likely that the fever could really change things up, not just in how they play on the court, but also in how they handle business behind the scenes. Crosscup isn't just about the fever, her impact goes way beyond that. She's been a respected name in pro basketball for a long time. Working with the Indiana Passers really helped solidify her reputation as a pioneer in the sport. By becoming the first woman to serve as an assistant GM in NBA history, she not only broke new ground, but also proved her talents reach far beyond on the WNBA. While working with the Pacers, she contributed significantly to creating a strong roster around Halliburton, which propelled the team back to the Eastern Conference Finals. This success has given her tons of experience, and that will be super important as she aims to rebuild the Fever into a championship team again. With Kroskov back in charge, the Fever appear to have a promising future ahead. Her history in the sport is impressive. She knows how to create successful teams, and she brings along plenty of experience, a clear vision, and the determination needed to make the the fever strong again. For the fans, having Krauskopf back isn't just a chance to feel hopeful, it's a sign that the fever might be close to accomplishing something great. The WNBA is changing, and with more young players stepping into the spotlight, the fever are getting ready to be a team that can compete and really make an impact. She has lived up to expectations, right? I'm looking at her the way I look at LeBron James, right? For us, just in the women's, for us women's, uh, the women's side of things, and the hype that she had, the expectations she had. Let's start with the rookie, Caitlin Clark Kent. Superwoman, you see what I did there? She was on a tear, and last night was no different. Wings, fever, Caitlin Clark set to go as she broke the single season assist record. She's been playing like a top five player in the league. She's been regularly di dishing out double digit assists in that time frame. Teams can no longer blitz her and trap her. Caitlin Clark's racking up triple doubles like they're going out of style. But some people are saying she needs to chill on the shooting. Is the rookie phenom already causing tension with her coach? In the end, Kelly Krauskopf coming back to the Indiana Fever will be seen as a key moment in the team's history. This choice could change the direction of the team and bring the Fever back to where they used to be great. As the WNBA keeps expanding, Krauskopf's return is an important step for the league's growth. Her leadership and passion for basketball are hard to match, and her influence will be felt not just by the Fever but throughout the entire WNBA. This marks a fresh start for the favor, and with Krauskopf leading the way, the future looks very promising.